Hi everybody, it's me, Alan Rodriguez again, and on today's video we're going to do a software and hardware tour of the Sprint Galaxy Nexus, and let's get started. On the outside of the device, the first thing you notice is the gorgeous 4.65 Super AMOLED HD display with a resolution of 1280 by 720 and it has a contoured display top, so it's curved glass. curved glass on the right side of the device you get your power button and over on the left side you get your volume rocker and on the top of the device there's actually nothing and at the bottom you get your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and micro usb charging port on the front you lose your hardware buttons for software buttons they work really well for the cameras, on the front you get a 1.3 megapixel camera for video calling and on the back you get a 5 megapixel shooter with LED flash with zero shutter lag, shoots video in 1080p at 30 frames per second. The camera also does amazing panorama photos and if you're interested in seeing videos and photo samples, check out my channel. There will also be a link in the description below and here's a panorama photo taken in our backyard. Enjoy. pop the back off. On the battery you get a 1850 milliamp battery with NFC built in. You get a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. It has dual 3G LTE but LTE is currently not available on Sprint until the middle of the year and it's only going to be in selected areas. You also get Bluetooth 3.0. It has Wi-Fi N. And it also comes equipped with 32 gigabytes of internal storage with no slot for your own micro SD. The Samsung Galaxy Nexus was the first phone to get Android 4.0 and at the moment the phone is running Android 4.0.4 .4 on Sprint's network. There's five home screens on Ice Cream Sandwich and right off the bat I noticed that everything seemed much smoother, faster and doesn't seem to lag at all whatsoever. When you open your app drawer, you get all your apps. You can move left and right through them. And at the end, you get all your widgets, your clocks, your calendars, everything you may need. And all you have to do is just hold and find a screen you need it on and just let go and you have your widget on your screen. With Ice Cream Sandwich, you also get a new screen off animation. Looks great looks just like an old-fashioned television. An amazing feature to see on 4.0 is data usage. With this, you can see your monthly data usage. You can also set when you want to get warned that you're getting close to your cap. You can also set when you want all your data to completely stop so you don't get any overages whatsoever. And this is a much welcome feature to Ice Cream Sandwich. With Ice Cream Sandwich, you lose your menu, and your search button and it's replaced with the multitasking button and when you open it up you get all the apps you recently had open with a little screenshot and to close any of the apps all you have to do is swipe left or right to close them all when it comes to the keyboard on Android 4.0 this has to be the most refined keyboard I've used period when I'm typing I can type at any speed it always picks up everything I'm doing it feels overall all completely refined and when you make a mistake it's really simple to fix it with the inline spell check. With Ice Cream Sandwich you get the face unlock feature. This can be easily beaten by a photo of yourself if someone wants to get in but overall a welcome feature in Ice Cream Sandwich. Thanks everybody for watching today's video and I hope to see you guys soon and if you guys like the video please um, give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.